Welcome to Student Ministry That Matters. I'm Ben Trueblood. Today, I want to talk to you about how to pastor like a noob. Now, do you remember when you first stepped into student ministry? Like your very first full-time role as a student pastor. I know I do for sure. It was in Huntsville, Alabama. Now, there was so much excitement and energy with that. Do you remember when, when you did? There, there's an expectation that things were just going to go so well, that we were going to accomplish so much, and I couldn't wait to get started. And sure, there was a little bit of fear, like, can I really do this? And what does this look like? And I'm a little nervous. And all of those things mashed up together, but those things were completely overwhelmed by the energy and excitement of it all. There's just something special about that time. And while we should all hope to learn more about ministry the longer we're in it, to learn more about leadership, like hopefully we're growing beyond what we knew in those first days, but there's something special about those first days. And I wanna identify three of those things that are special in the very beginning that kind of kickstart you that can serve as a reminder to us to keep us going long into the, into the future. And the first one of those is that when we start, when we are noobs in ministry, we're certain of our calling. Like we know this is what God has called me to. This is the kind of student ministry that God is calling me to right now. And this is what I wanna do to disciple teenagers. And all of those things are so fresh and exciting, but we are certain of our calling. You know, as we continue in ministry, Sometimes discouragement and sometimes change of circumstances and other forces begin to come into play and we can become uncertain of that calling. And I think that it is a reasonable expectation for at times in our ministry to go back to the Lord and say, God, what are you calling me to do? This is what was there when I first began, but what are you calling me to now? And how has maturity and age and circumstance how has that shaped what you're calling me to into the future? But having those conversations with God and with those closest around us, being vulnerable with them, they can help shape the calling that we have going forward. But it still remains that to continue with the energy and excitement of those early days, we do need to be certain of our calling and whatever calling that may be. And number two is willing to try new things. Like I remember when I first started in ministry, I was willing to try everything. Anything that I could do to reach teenagers, or disciple them, or have conversations with teenagers I didn't know. Like we were, we were willing to try all kinds of new ideas. And the longer you stay in ministry, you begin to see some things that work. And the temptation is to stay in those things that work or even those things that you do really well. And just like anything, if you walk the same path day after day after day after day, it creates a trail. And eventually that trail can create a rut in the ground that it's hard to get out of. And the longer we're in ministry, the more behavioral ruts we can get into. And so we need to harness that early energy of being willing to try new things. Even if something's working over and over and over and over again, how can you innovate and plan for the future around what student ministry is going to be a year, two years, what the students in your community need right now? We need to stay flexible in student ministry and remain willing to try new things. And number three, fresh enthusiasm. Now, you, you've heard me talk a lot already about the incitement and energy that comes with the first student ministry position. I felt that excitement. And I really need to ask myself a question now in being in over 20 years connected to student ministry in some form or fashion, is that enthusiasm still there? I think that's a healthy question for all of us. And I think it's directly relinked to the certainty of the calling that God's placed on our lives. And with calling comes enthusiasm. And if you're in a place where outside forces or circumstances or time or discouragement or whatever has caused your enthusiasm to wane, then it's a good moment not to shame yourself and not to get down on yourself and not to tell yourself immediately, well, that means I'm not called. No, but it is a good point to stop and say, where, where is my enthusiasm? Why don't I feel the same energy that I once did about this thing that God has called me to. 
And from that can be such a refreshing moment with the Lord, a a recommitment, if you will, to what God has called you to do. And maybe a fresh renewal of enthusiasm and excitement for one of the greatest things in all the world, and it's being in student ministry. I'd love to hear what you do to remain connected to the energy and excitement of a first starting out student pastor. You can leave that in the comments down below. I'd also love to hear some of the new things in student ministry that you're willing to try or any thoughts on the video at all. Make sure to hit the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe as well on your way out. We'll see you next time.